In this video, you'll see how you can list professional services in AWS Marketplace. With this capability, you can reach new customers through publicly discoverable listings in AWS Marketplace, offer complete solutions that include both software and related professional services, and streamline the procurement process to close opportunities faster. Let's begin at the AWS Marketplace homepage. AWS Marketplace is an online software store that helps customers find, buy, and immediately start using third-party software and services that run on AWS. Professional services is one of many different categories of products and services sold on AWS Marketplace. Here, we can browse the full catalog of professional services. To create a new catalog listing for a professional service product, let's go to the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. We'll enter a title for our product as we want it to appear on the product page and in search results. We'll include a SKU and provide a short description that will be visible on the product page and in search results. We'll also add a longer description for the overview section on our product listing page. To display a product logo with our description, we'll need to enter the URL of an AWS Simple Storage Service, AWS S3, bucket where the logo is stored. Let's go to the AWS Management Console to see how to set up an S3 bucket. In S3, we'll create a new bucket. We'll give it a name and ensure the appropriate region is selected. We'll need to uncheck Block All Public Access. Otherwise, the logo file we store in the bucket will not be accepted when we publish the listing. We'll acknowledge the message and retain all other default settings. Now we'll create the bucket. Once the bucket has been created, we can upload the logo to it. Now that the upload has completed, we can access the file object. Before we add the product logo to our listing, we'll want to enable Read Access for Everyone. We can do that on the Permissions tab. When we grant Read Access to Everyone, an alert appears. We are required to confirm that we understand the effects of these changes before we can continue. Let's select the checkbox and save the edited permissions. Now we can copy the object URL for the logo we uploaded and paste it into the listing we're creating in AWS Marketplace. Next, we'll add a few highlights to the listing. Highlights are key product features that appear in a sidebar on the listing page. Every listing must have at least one highlight. Next, we'll choose up to three product categories so buyers can find our professional services listing when searching AWS Marketplace. We must choose at least one of the five professional services categories – assessments, implementation, premium support, managed services, or training. We can also choose up to four products that are associated with our professional services. If our service is related to building on AWS, this field is optional. In this case, we'll choose one associated product. We can also add keywords to help buyers find our listing in the AWS Marketplace catalog. We can add the URL of a resource, such as a PDF with product details, so buyers can view it from our listing page. We'll include a phone number and relevant URLs that buyers can contact for support. Finally, let's add the pricing dimensions that will appear on the AWS Marketplace listing page. Professional services are discoverable as public listings, but are not required to include public pricing. Instead, professional services are transacted through AWS Marketplace's private offer feature. This way, the seller can customize engagements and price them accurately for buyers. Let's submit the form to create our professional services product. Let's review the Requests tab. As you can see from the product request at the top of the list, our product was created successfully. Let's visit the Products page. By default, new products have a limited status which means they're not yet publicly discoverable on the AWS Marketplace site. Let's look at the product information. We can preview how the listing page will appear to the public on AWS Marketplace. We can make changes to the product listing if needed. 
Once we're satisfied with the listing, we'll request to update the product visibility in the AWS Marketplace catalog. The support form pre-populates with information regarding our product visibility request. Let's add a contact email address and submit the request. Once the support team reviews the request, the product listing will be published to the public AWS Marketplace catalog in about three days. You've just seen how you can list professional services in AWS Marketplace. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.